It's absolutely wild to think that just below these city streets, in one of Canada's biggest cities, is a place as old as the Ice Age and buried in legend. After Toronto, Montreal has the biggest population of Italian Canadians in the country, and you'll find most of them living right here in St. Leonard. On the surface, St. Leonard's iconic duplexes and triplexes decorate this part of the city. But beneath the busy streets of St. Leo is a secret that's almost 15,000 years old. Walking down this part of St. Leonard doesn't stand out in any way. I mean, this looks like a regular city street, but in this park, is a system of underground caves so ancient, they're unlike anything else in Montreal. The St. Leonard Cavern made it into a local newspaper over 200 years ago, when a farmer came across an opening somewhere around this park in 1811. Some stories say that indigenous people used the cave as a home a long, long time ago. Other reports suggest that it was used as a weapons storage facility. Either way, one thing's for sure, this place is really, really old. All right, so how does a cave like this come to be? Well, about 15,000 years ago, this whole park was covered in a massive wall of ice, as big as something like you'd see on Game of Thrones. And in the process of the ice shifting, it tears open a hole in the rock, and you end up with a cave. Stepping inside, things quickly get real dark, so it's lights on. You might not be able to see it at first, but there are 450 million year old fossils spread all over this cavern. Seriously, they are everywhere. Proof that life once lived here a long time ago. All right, now it gets a lot more narrow the deeper you go. I mean, I'm barely a foot on either side of me and I am surrounded by rock. And the fact that this is right here in the middle of a city is a little mind blowing. Uh, if you are claustrophobic, I gotta say, this probably isn't for you. Now this is one of the most narrow parts of the cavern. And if you're wondering just how dark it really is right here, check this out. It's dark. He thought that was cool. We're about to go deeper. Now, originally this cave was thought to be about a hundred feet long, but in 2017, a massive breakthrough revealed that there's a lot more to this place than a lot of people thought. The second deeper cave measures in at just over 800 meters. There's even a bed of water at the bottom. And despite that, there is no life down here whatsoever. Now I've said this a ton of times before already, but this place just keeps getting narrower and narrower. However, just beyond this corridor, it's supposed to open up into something pretty special. I remember when I said there was no life down here, I might have spoken too soon. See all these little white dots? They're mushrooms. The kind you find in Demombay. This second deeper cave isn't quite safe to check out just yet, but they do have plans to open it up to the public in the next couple years. Past this point, the water starts getting pretty deep and I have no safety nets or security or wires or even a boat to get me across, so I'm gonna have to call it a day. But as for the rest of the St. Leonard Cave, you can actually come and check it out right now. All right, let's get out of here. And there you have it, a 15,000 year old cave buried just beneath the city streets in plain sight. That's it for today, but I will see you next time with another hidden place in Montreal.